Uh, let's get rid of that burns now that, you know, I know that it doesn't allow me to view the list. So close to being able to view the list. All right, one more. Let's hope for the other enemy here. That's not it. That is not it. The Robo Ducky is back. A little bit more difficult these times. This time, probably. Yeah, you know, the uh, the Dead Sea stuff is here. A little bit more difficult because Surge is now the same color as the Robo Ducky. Last time we were here, I believe it was Lynx, so it was probably a little bit easier before. But the Stash and Slash is too damn strong. So down goes the Robo Ducky. The other enemy that can show up here is the Gremlin uh, that I care about when it comes to the doppelgang list. So uh, that's it for the Bend of Time. Very interesting place. Uh, they All of these portals unlock at different times throughout the game. So if you really want to practice battling, because there's no such thing as level grinding in this game, right? So if you want to practice battling, you can, can go ahead and do that here. So there's that, but... Outside of that, it's it's just kind of an interesting little area where you get to see things that spawn in areas they're not supposed to be in and with music that they don't normally show up with. But there's that. Okay, so with that done, we are done dealing with the doppelgang list for the time being. I'll go ahead and double check it off screen. Um, although... You know what, let's, let's actually try to check it on screen and hopefully I got it right. Uh, so we get to see at least the length of it, you know? To see how much work I have done today. Let's get into a fight with Shadow Cats because uh, the Shadow Cats do have something that I care about. They definitely have something that I care about. So kid, go in there and, and deal with the Shadow Cats. That's fine as long as I get to steal. Then we'll let Sprig go in and do what she can, which is probably not going to be much, but that's fine with me. I think I have her with Silver still. Or you can miss the Pilfer. All right, they will have the Demon Charm on them, or Daemon, however you want to say it when there's an A in it. But they have the Demon Charm on them, and that is going to be good for shiny materials which I will once again go over in a bit. Instead, we're gonna have Sprig try to show off your level five tech. Hey, you took it out, congratulations. Yeah, just give her like whatever, just auto allocate. Doppelgang list. As you can see, it's a little bit bigger these days. Little bit larger. Still not even really close to done, but we got a lot of stuff there. Lots and lots of stuff. All right, let's go ahead and uh, just switch over to Surge. Surge, go ahead and finish this one off, maybe. There you go. And down it goes. Tried to make things go a little bit easier for me by stealing that demon charm, but it didn't work out. So we'll take what we can get. And a heal plus. Interesting. Okay, so now that we've gotten the doppelgangs, it's time to start talking about the rainbow equipment. There are a couple easy ways, well, easy-ish ways, to get the stuff. So, let's take a look at the stuff. Uh, actually, it's better to do it from the Smith Spirit, isn't it? There are two uh, types of items that are important. They are both accessories. Uh, the Pultus Cap is one of those important things. It will give you a shiny ember. Uh, the poultice cap is actually pretty common. Uh, they're common steals from mama dingoes and cat burglars. And the gloop and the mama dingoes also rarely drop it. So the poultice cap is relatively common. It does require a lot of farming though if you're gonna want a lot of them. I have three, which is pretty damn good. I will take it. Uh, then we have the antitoxinal camp, cap even. This will give you a shiny leaf. Uh, this is a common steal from the Prey Mantis. So 
if you want to farm those guys, uh, this is a good way to get shiny leaves. So you steal from them and then let them use Stinger and then you uh, use the green summon and then you'll get a couple shiny leaves, hopefully. Uh, the flame charm, once again, gives you a shiny ember. Uh, these things are kind of difficult to find, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend farming them. As you can see, I only have one. Uh, the demon charm. I honestly think this is only like for bosses and stuff like that. That's why I'm just kind of skipping it. Uh, the demon charm, much more common. Like I said, it's a common steal from the shadow cat. So if you want to try to get the shiny soot, that's probably the best way to do it. Unless you want to go for the summon route, which uh, is a little bit more difficult when it comes to the black uh, summons and the white summons as well. Uh, because there's no white field or black field in the game for whatever reason. Just freaking give it to me. Uh, but the shiny soot, that's how, that's one way to get it. Uh, let's see what else we got here. The, the earth charm, as you can see, I have seven of these. These are also quite common. Uh, these are common steals from the prehysterics and the yellow bellies. Uh, the gurgoyles and the woots also commonly drop them and the yellow bellies also rarely drop them i have seven they're pretty common this is probably the easiest way to get the shiny sand also the summon route though summons are once you get the field spells they become a lot easier so just keep that in mind the sea charm uh i only have two i uh, wouldn't you can't really farm these so that's one way to get the shiny dew, but there's another way to get it, uh, which is the antiviral cap, which is a common steal from spearfishers. So this is maybe the easiest way to do it. You'll also get it from, well, if you fight them, they'll use blues a lot. So you can get the, the summon out pretty quickly if you're fighting them anyway. Uh, so then we have the angel charm. This one, honestly, don't know how to farm, but I already have more than I'll ever need when it comes to that. Maybe they came from the the cherubs? They probably came from the cherubs, uh, whatever those guys' names were. Uh, these gives shiny salt. This is more than what I'm going to need for the time being. Probably, when it comes to the charms, uh, at least the shiny salt, uh, when it comes to that. So we'll go for that, but outside of that, it might be easiest to go uh, and get the white summons out to get the shiny salt. And we'll show that off at some point, uh, pretty soon here, pretty soon. But uh, we're just going over what I can disassemble first. Uh, then we have the forest charms. These are a common steal from the prey mantises. So like I said, wait, didn't I say something else was the common steal from the prey mantises? The forest charms are definitely it. Uh, the flame charm, I think I was talking about before. Uh, no way to actually farm that. Uh, earth charm, like I said, that one's the most common. I don't know what I was talking about before, but, uh, the forest charm is definitely the one that you steal from the prey mantis. Not whatever I said before, probably. Anything else here that's important? Wait, whoa, look at that. Um, I was trying to figure out what that was. The trashy tiara, that requires a lot of everything, doesn't it? But uh, none of it particularly useful at this point in the game. I never have been that big of a fan of uh, kind of playing around with this kind of stuff. Uh, even the, the Dragoon's Honor and the Dragoon's Glory, I'd rather keep them, you know? I would rather keep them for what they are. But you can get some interesting stuff if you're short. Apparently the forget-me-not pot just has five bones in it. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it for today, though. But uh, the antiviral cap, pultus cap, demon charm, forest charm, and earth charm are all farmable if you want to get them. The other stuff, not quite as much. But that's an easy way to get shiny dew, shiny ember, shiny soot, shiny leaves, and shiny sand. And those are all going to be required in order to make the prism equipment so i'll probably give, be getting rid of all of the charms that i have and all of those caps that i have simply because it's well gonna cut down on my shiny farming uh but i'm gonna be doing most of my shiny ch shiny farming off screen uh, let me get a good party together and we'll head in and see if we can't get a 
least one summon off so that we get to show off uh, how you can get shiny equipment and how I will be farming off screen for that. So let me go ahead and get a better party together. Looking at you, Sprig. Brought Fargo back in the party so that we can do a double steal if we can. Uh, let's head into the Fossil Valley, take on those Shadow Cats again. I believe that I will be able to take out both of them without them dying. I'm hoping that kid's kind of weak here. Ooh, they showed up as well. So the easiest way to do it is to have the field spells on. There are other easy ways to do it depending on what enemy you want to take on. Uh, there are definitely some enemies that spam certain that spam certain elemental colors that will allow you to fill the field as necessary. But for the time being, we just kind of want to go all out on the Tutan Shaman and hope for the best. As these guys spam Shadow. Which is fine. We can deal with that as necessary. We need to set up the summon, though. And once you have the field spells, it's a little bit easier. Just a little bit. All right, down goes the Tutan Shaman. Mm. We might just forego stealing today. If, the, if everybody's that powerful. Actually, yeah, I think we're good here. I think we're good. Let's go for... Red Field, which I did put on Fargo. And hopefully, before they get a move in, it's still a little risky, right? They can get a move in right there, but they didn't. Then we can go for Red Wolf. Not necessarily the best summon, but it will work. Let's go for Red Wolf. Yeah, it does more than enough to kill them. 800 damage is pretty significant for something this low level. But as a result of that, we get ourselves two shiny embers. That is what you get for having killed them with a red summon. Whatever summon you use will determine what shiny material you get. And of course, ember is for red so we didn't get the steals but i'm okay with that for the time being um but we got ourselves a couple more shiny materials now that works across all all colors you, you kill the enemies with the summon that you want and they will drop the shiny materials that you want uh now on this, you can see that I now have 45 out of 48 summon stars. That is what they are used for. And I have not really gone out of my way to replenish them yet. So I should at least show off how you can replenish them if you're starting to run low. Uh, the easiest way is to go to Arnie Village. I don't believe it matters homeworld or another world. Uh, you go up to Serge's room. It really doesn't matter where you go, but this is one of the easiest spots for it. There are a few places that'll work here. Let's talk to the Komodo pup. Right. I think we've heard that from him before. So yes, we want to rest. And when you rest, when you choose to rest, essentially when you sleep at an inn, when you sleep on a bed, hundred it's fine there goes a hundred gold uh when you rest you will get all of your summon stars back so hundred gold not that big of a deal for me because i'm gonna be going out and farming anyway and i still have the profiteer purse on but that is how you can get your summon stars back and i rarely need to use that during the game itself except when i'm doing this farming stint at the end of the game so i am going to take care of all of this farming off screen i'm pretty much just going to deck out uh the characters that i'm going to be bringing to the final party uh because it's a lot easier going through new game plus and uh, finding other ways of getting the summons out, but maybe that's just me. So I will deck out 
a final party, and we will head back to Opasa Beach next time. That is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Chrono Cross. I've been joined, as always, by my Around the Worlds squad of Surge Kid and Fargo. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.